Welcome to the Light Architect app from Cooper Lighting Solutions, which makes lighting design as mobile as you are. This tutorial video will guide you through the satellite view feature for outdoor site lighting design. Once you've downloaded the app or updated your existing app, you can open it and you'll see that instead of just going straight to the AR view, you now have two options. Use My Space opens the typical camera view that you're used to seeing in the AR app, or you can choose to use Satellite View. So if we click on Satellite View, it'll open up a map of your location. And to get started adding fixtures, you need to zoom in. So you can either zoom into your location by pinching like you would on a typical map, or you can go up to the top up here and press search and we can look up a location. So let's do a car dealership. And at your location, you can change the map type. So here we have, we have default and it shows the roads and names, but you can also choose satellite which is useful because now you can see where the parking lot is located. You can even see the shadows that show where the existing fixtures are placed. And we'll go down and press add fixture in the bottom left here. And it pulls up a catalog with all of our outdoor fixtures. Let's try adding a galleon. It'll pop up on your screen with this little yellow icon that indicates the location of the fixture. And you can drag it around where you want it positioned. And you can use these buttons on the corner to change the height of the fixture. You can change the rotation to align it with the parking lot the way you want it and save that. And then you can use this edit button down here in the bottom right to change the configuration of the fixture. So we can change the number of mounting heads and the angle between them. You can change the arm length and this tab here allows you to select the IES file with the lumen package, the color temperature, the optics. So we'll apply changes. And now you can see that the fix the icon has changed to two heads at 180 degrees like we specified. And you can use the copy button at the bottom to create a cop identical copy of this fixture. It will have the same height, the same IES file, and you can place those, try to match them up with these existing shadows. And once you've placed all your fixtures, you have two different options for calculating the foot candles. You can either press this calculate button in the bottom right here, and you'll get the distribution uh, values across the whole space above a certain threshold. But if you want more accurate uniformity values for a specific space, you can use this square button up in the top left, which allows you to click to place locations of corners for the space that you're interested in. So when you complete the shape, you can see it here. And when we press calculate, we'll only get values for that space that we just specified. And you can see the unity for uniformity values down in this summary down here. Once you've completed your design and you're satisfied with it, you can share it by pressing this button. And you can email it. And the email will auto-populate with the fixtures that you just added, their mounting heights, a screenshot of the design that you just made, and then a PDF that will contain both the list of fixtures, their latitude and longitudes, and a screenshot just like this.